What is up YouTube, Dakota here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, this is kind of a follow-up to my previous video. If you guys haven't watched that, I'll leave a link somewhere here or at the end of the video, who knows. But basically what I thought I'd do is after having the Bronco for over a year, what are some things that I think Ford could do to improve the Bronco platform? Now mainly, um, there's gonna be a few of these things that are specific to two doors, but the rest of it should apply to four doors as well. But you know, I've used it off-road, on long road trips, doing things like rock crawling, as well as high-speed stuff. And I also have my other Wranglers to compare it back to back to. Today is just kind of, not necessarily talking bad about it, but just kind of maybe some things that I think could just improve it overall. Because the bones of this thing are very good. The engine I think is very good. I'm very happy with that. Very happy with the suspension on it. It's very good. You know, it's it could maybe be a little softer on the front and rear spring spring rate wise, just to maybe allow for a little bit more flex. But overall, it, it's dialed in very well. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I think Ford could fix or address to make the Bronco even better. <music> thing I want to talk about is the back seats so um, I've mentioned this before but it's still something that even when I first got the Bronco I still think they could and should improve so as you guys can see I have a goose gear platform installed to where I removed the third row or the third row <laughs> the, um one of the seats and now I have three um and as you guys can see it's a flat load space if you don't have the fridge slide in here and the reason I did that is because a, it allows me a, to put a fridge slide, but B, if I wanted to take this out, I have a flat load space, and this is where I think Ford could improve the Bronco. I've done a comparison before between the rear cargo area and seat space with my two-door JL, and for me, I think if Ford adopted the same folding strategy with this as the Wrangler to where you could flip it, fold it, and then remove it, that would make this a lot better, because the problem is when you fold these down, they're really, it, it doesn't really have a flat load space load space so i'll show you guys what it looks like here so first things first you have to come around to the front pull this guy so you guys can see flat definitely not flat and again that's just something it's a minor thing and the four door actually still has a hump it's not as bad as this but it still does but in the two door i mean that's that's not you know that just seems for lack of a better word, halfway done in my opinion. I feel like if they could just make it to where it flipped, folded the whole thing up and over like the Jeeps, still keep the 50-50 because I like that, but then being able to remove it, I think that makes a lot more sense. You know, it's not like these are heated to where they need to be physically connected to the floor of the Bronco. But again, just one area where I think Ford could improve the overall user experience with the Bronco is make them to where these are way more easily removable like the Jeeps and to where you could get a bit better of a flat load space. All right, next is something that I've talked about in quite a bit, so we're not gonna get into too much detail, but the next thing is Ford could improve the Bronco by simply improving the interior. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean the materials used and how it's put together. For example, this grab handle, right? You're supposed to grab it as you guys can see the whole thing here moves i'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on that this doesn't give you much confidence when you're grabbing it and i also don't really enjoy passengers to grab it because what happens if they just break it off so little things like that you know like i'm not sure if you guys can hear that but overall the interior quality is just not as good as the wrangler now i'm sure some of you guys will be sitting there going Oh, but it's an off-road or it doesn't matter. I totally agree with you, except for the fact that if the Wrangler, which is its main competitor, is put together better, it at least needs to be as good as that. 
So that to me, that's not an excuse because the Wrangler is put together better. So if the Wrangler was just as bad, you know, every single thing in here, in the Wrangler creaked and the plastics felt super hollow, then sure. But I own two Wranglers and neither one of them feel like this. A key example would be the shifter. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to, I won't, you obviously you can't feel it through the camera, but I at least wanna let you guys hear what this sounds like. The shifter, for example, when you put it into gear and then move it around, it just feels so cheap. And keep in mind, this vehicle, I mean, these things aren't cheap, right? But like, just. Like that, it, I, again, you guys can't feel that, but it feels so incredibly cheap. And now I got to say, this is an exclusive to the Bronco. My Raptor has the same cheap feeling shifter uh, where it feels really flimsy. So I'm not sure if that's just a Ford thing, but it just doesn't feel, it feels clunky. And you know, like it's, it just feels hollow and there's like nothing in there. No real nice smooth actuation compared to the Wrangler, which I'll overlay a clip of. It engages a lot smoother it's more buttery and it has some a little bit more weight to it so it just feels like it's more solid and again just little things like the door panel has this one piece of vinyl and right down here and then the rest is just just this super like cheap bare plastic and again it wouldn't be such a big deal if it was put together super well, but unfortunately it's just the overall build quality just isn't quite up to par with the Wrangler. And one of the last things I'm going to talk about, which I've mentioned this plenty of times, so I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here, but the hard top. Um, if you guys have seen any of my videos before, you guys will know that I've talked about it a bunch. It's just way louder than I think it should be. Um, it's much louder than the Wrangler. Um, it's, it just, it was just kind of surprising. Um, again, so I'm not going to harp on it too much because I feel like I've talked about it a lot, but it's very loud, and I think Depp Ford could definitely improve that now. Hopefully, the later builds get better. Again, I got a very early one of these. I got one of these in October of last year. Hopefully, some of the later builds have a better top. Mine, this one rattled. I had to do kind of a, uh, a weird little fix for it because it was rattling like crazy. The, the rear somewhere back there still rattles. I don't know if it's the, the swing gate or if it's the top back there still rattles and again this thing only has 16,000 miles on it and to give you guys just if you didn't watch the last video my two-door wrangler has almost 60,000 miles and I don't have those rattling issues in that one but again I'm not gonna get into too much into too much detail about that because I've harped on it a lot again there are some good things about the Bronco if you watch the previous video I point those out just these are some things that I know Ford could improve on and I'm sure they will as you know the Bronco goes through its life cycle and everything but just as someone who's owned it for a year, those are kind of the things that initially when you hop in, you kind of notice coming directly from a Jeep. And so far, they've all kind of stayed the same. Other than that though, there really isn't a whole lot wrong with the Bronco, you know, as far as just being objective and not having, you know, bias of any things like that. Objectively, it is very good. The bones of this thing are solid. Um, it's just, those are a few things that if Ford could fix that, this thing would be like night and day better. If they could make it as quiet as the Wrangler, do the rear seats, make the interior components a little bit nicer and put together better, then this thing would be absolutely awesome for a two-door off-road vehicle. So anyways, guys, um, if you're looking at buying one of these, I hope that helped you. Um, if you're just curious or if you're a Bronco hater, cool. Or if you're a Wrangler hater, also cool. I don't hate either one. I think they're both good, hence why I own both a Bronco and two Wranglers, but I'm an enthusiast. So at the end of the day, competition is good for everybody. So whether you like one or the other, it doesn't matter. They both help each other out. With that being said, if you guys have any questions on anything, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, if you guys want to scroll back and check out some of the off-road videos that I've done with this and the 392 or the two-door Wrangler, by all means, scroll through the channel. There's some good stuff in there. Some stuff, maybe not, you know, who knows? <laughs> Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.